I just remembered I don't have makeup on. Hey everyone, so welcome to day three of Witchathon. That's six. This is three. So day three of Witchathon. I had work this morning until well it was supposed to be three, but I got off at like 3.40ish. So yeah. Right now I'm just going to we're, we're gonna do an actual daily vlog. I'm not sure if this one's gonna be a day long, mostly because I still have to put up well I have to put up the past two days vlogs and then I have to put up the vlog before that that was before all of Witchathon getting a little convoluted so it's fine maybe I'll just no, no no I don't know I don't know what I was gonna say I'm just going to actually unbox a couple of things I got some packages in the mail yesterday but I didn't want to unwrap them because I felt like I had a lot of stuff going on in the first two days of the vlog anyways so I figured I'd save it for today where nothing was going on yet I'm really really excited about these I actually bought them a couple of days ago when you know I, I was I was just doing online shopping we got books so I haven't actually ordered books like on their own especially from Amazon in a really really long time but I felt like I needed to and you'll see why I got Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I know when it first came out, there was actually tons of mixed reviews coming out, but I've been seeing more and more good reviews of it, so I'm kind of excited to see where I fall. Oh my gosh, look at those end papers. That's so pretty. Okay, love that. Does it have anything? Oh, it has a fancy stamp. Can you can you make that out? Fancy stamp. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna read it in October or when exactly I'm gonna read it. I feel like I really need to be in the mood for it so that I can give it my undivided attention. The next book that's in here is Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but oh my gosh. I was hoping that it would have the black sprayed edges, but I wasn't sure if every edition had it or if it was just some of them. So I'm really excited. This is actually the group book for Witchathon. So I'm definitely going to try and read it at some point this week because I want to be involved. And I know that this is like one of Rhiannon's favorite books of the year, I believe. Or I don't know. They enjoyed it quite a lot. So I'm excited about that. Oh my god. The last thing in this box I'm going to save for the end because I'm extra excited about it. So let's open the other one. The next one that I got is actually Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. I'm really excited about this. I love Shauna McGuire's work and I feel like this is actually a really great spooky book to read but I just don't think I'm gonna have time for it again in October. I definitely needed it though in my collection because I love Shauna McGuire's work and I feel like this is gonna just be a great addition. And this next one I'm so excited about, I actually might try and fit into my TBR, is gonna be Monstrous Volume 3 by Marjorie Liu and Santa Takeda. This is the third volume in the Monstrous comics graphic novels that I really love. This is still my favorite graphic novel out of everything that I really read. Okay, I've read two. I read this in Saga, but Monstrous still is better to me than Saga, so don't know what that says. But I'm really excited about that. The last thing in the box is not book related, but it's something that I've been going back and forth on getting for the longest time, and that's actually Kiki's Delivery Service. And I know that sounds strange. Uh, Kiki's Delivery Service is the first Studio Ghibli movie I ever watched, and I used to watch this constantly as a child. I honestly had it on repeat and I would just watch it all the time and as I grew older I would also just keep putting it on and turning it on. I loved this movie so so much but I only had a VCR version of it so when I got rid of my VCR I obviously couldn't watch it anymore and I actually don't know where the VCR version of this went. I'm kind of hoping it's at my mom's because that's the original edition and that has been the biggest reason why I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this DVD because I know that they actually changed it from the one that I knew and loved. So when it got re-released, the music in this got changed, but it actually, I think, got changed to be more accurate of the Japanese music in the real Kiki's Delivery Service. So that I don't mind as much. I think that I'll actually really enjoy that. The thing that I do mind is that they cut down a lot of Gigi's lines in the new version. That hurts. There's a scene at the very end where Gigi speaks. I'm not gonna say why if you haven't watched the movie, but he speaks at the very very end. That's like a big moment in the movie and I guess they took it out of this one. So. But I finally bit the bullet and got it because I actually I still love this movie. I think that I'm still gonna love it even though it's gonna be slightly different than the one that I remember. So I just got it because I felt like I needed something that was gonna make me super happy. We might try and watch this like tomorrow night or something. Well maybe tonight. I don't know. We'll see. That's my little mini haul. So today I still have to make my bullet journal 
video for this and I still have to actually edit. I need to finish editing the vlog from the past two days, get that uploaded, things like that. So I have to get all that done and then I just want to also get some reading done. As far as reading goes, I still only have listened to the Hero of Ages. I haven't been doing any other reading. It's mostly, again, because I just don't know what my TBR is until I set down my bullet journal, so I really have to get that video done. Or not video, but that spread done. So I have two days to finish The Hero of Ages, but it's okay. I'm 61% of the way through with it, and I'm going to be listening to it today while I do like my bullet journal and all that good. Sorry, I feel like I'm talking really weird, but it's because my lips are super chapped. Anyways, off topic. So I am... 16 hours and 41 minutes into it. So hopefully I get to finish that either today or tomorrow. Otherwise My my hold expires actually on it. So that's nerve-wracking. I guess we'll see. We'll wait and see what we're gonna do I'm just gonna start I think my spread my bullet journal spread I finished my first book of the readathon. <laughs> so I know earlier I was like, I have like seven hours to go. I hope I finish it in the next two days. And uh, then I just couldn't stop. It was getting to a head and it was just like a lot of things were happening at the same time. And I really had no idea how Brandon Sanderson was going to be, oh, by the way, I finished The Hero of Ages, but I had no idea how Brandon Sanderson was gonna wrap everything up. There were so many loose ends and it felt like the end was right there. So I just couldn't stop. So I just started kind of cleaning. I looked around in my bullet journal. I just literally did whatever I could. I actually ended up printing out some stuff and like hanging it up and I actually, I'll show you that later. It actually looks pretty cool. I finished my first book. I've been working on this series for years for years and it just feels very satisfying. I was really, really, really into it about like 100 pages maybe before the ending. And then there was 80 or so pages in the middle where I was like, um, I don't think I like where this is going. They should have just left it off in the last part and then made another whole book for this ending because it was just, it still seemed like there was so much to do, but I can truthfully say I loved it. Uh, five out of five stars. I think that he did an amazing job with it and I liked it. I liked the turn it took because I was really concerned for a minute. There's, I'm very, I'm kind of a stickler. When I'm really invested in a story, I already kind of have an idea of how I want it to end and when it doesn't kind of at least go along those lines, I normally end up not liking the ending that much. Even Kingdom of Ash, I didn't love love the ending, if that makes any sense, but this one, he actually did it in a way where I was like, I approve. I really approve. A lot of what goes on in this one specifically is philosophizing and theology talk. So religions and stuff. I haven't really explained, but <laughs> this is the Mistborn series. So basically we have Vin who becomes a Mistborn and is taught by Kelsier. There's a lot that goes on from there, but there's like so many side characters that actually have pretty major roles and you get to know them pretty well. And Sazed is one of the ones that I have always really enjoyed. I think that he's very fun. He's like a scholar, he's kind of a servant, and he's really invested in religion. And we get to hear a lot about religion in this book, and I just thought it was very applicable to real life, even though this is a fantasy world with fantasy religions. I liked the ideas that he had. It basically revolved around the whole concept of what makes people believe, and to believe in anything, you just kind of have to want to. It doesn't have to necessarily be perfect or have a reason, but you just have to want to and without it then you can't believe because no religion is gonna force you to believe if that makes any sense oh my gosh I'm off topic but like I really I like this a lot five stars five stars so 
it's 10 32 I just want to like sit here and like look at my book I might try and edit my vlog not this one but like the one that I'm gonna post before this one so maybe I'll just do that for the rest of the night and I'm kind of waiting for Adam to get back home so that we can maybe watch Kiki so days one and two are combined for Witchathon, and I think I want to combine days three and four just because since I had to post a different vlog today and I'm gonna be posting days one and two tomorrow it just makes more sense to post days three and four after day four is done. That's gonna be it for this update tonight, I guess. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I have some like fun plans. I want to actually finally sort myself into my house. I was feeling very Harry Potter Slytherin today and I was actually gonna do it today, but then I got distracted. So I want to go onto the new app and sort myself in. So I think it'll be pretty fun. But yeah, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, hey everyone. So welcome to day four of Witchathon. So I have finally finished my first book. That happened last night. And I actually started, I was hoping to start one of the ones that were on my TBR for the month, but I couldn't find any of them in my library. So I actually just started listening to her, or no, her, You by Carolyn Kepnes. I did watch the first episode of this on Netflix. So, so far that's all that's played out in the first hour and a half of the book which is really interesting so I don't know what it's gonna end like and I don't know what goes on after this but it's really really identical so far so that's pretty cool or I think I watched like the first two episodes or three episodes something like that and I'll probably be putting that one down for pick a book that promises to be dark and twisted because if you didn't know you is about a kind of a stalker he becomes absolutely obsessed with this girl that walks into his bookshop and he's kind of pretentious too so he has this whole like made up idea of how the world is and how everything should be and he's actually talking in the second person so he's saying like you do this you do that and like a lot of what he says he's like you know what's really messed up is that if someone looked at this situation they would think that I'm the creepy one because I followed you here but I'm here to make sure that no one else can hurt you because you're too drunk to take care of yourself and any other creep could just come up to you right now and rape you and like things like that and it's just like um I do have work right now, so I don't know. They texted me while I was asleep <laughs> this morning and said I could come in early, but I don't know if they still want me to come in early. I don't know if I want to still come in early. Right now, I think I'm actually going to go check the mail and see if anything came in the mail. I'm actually pretty excited for the next few days of Witchathon because I think that I'm going to be kind of doing a tag in every single one of the videos. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think it'll be a lot of fun to do. So I'm going to check my mail and then we'll talk. All right, so I changed because I actually didn't like the shirt that I was wearing. I mean, this is kind of pointless because my work actually texted me back and was like, you can come in as early as you want. So I think I actually am gonna be trying to get there by round one. So it's 12.30 right now, so I kind of have to get going in like the next 10 minutes to get there at that time. I got my fake crate in the mail, but I kind of want to save that for when I have more time. So probably tomorrow I'll be unboxing that. I'm really excited. I actually loved my box last month, so I can't wait to see what the theme is for this month and all that good stuff. Stay tuned for that tomorrow. Actually, before I get going, let's do the Harry Potter quiz. I have to download the thing first. Is it Pottermore? Okay, I think it's this. It's the Wizarding World. Okay, we're downloading it right now. I've been wanting to check to see what I would get. I know a lot of people were getting different responses than what they originally got, but see, I've actually never taken the Pottermore test and gotten Slytherin. I'm more of a self-proclaimed Slytherin. Every single time I've taken the Pottermore test, I've actually gotten Gryffindor. So to be quite fair, I'm more of a Slytherdor, but I do feel like I'm more of a Slytherin than I am Gryffindor. So the only time that I took this, that I got Slytherin was when I took that comprehensive test where it showed you like what percentage you are of everything. And that's the time that I was like, yes, I'm finally a Slytherin. So we'll see what this says and what happens. I'm gonna keep getting notifications because I posted a bookstagram picture. So that's gonna keep popping up. <laughs> <laughs> Since your password has to be parcel tongue. That's funny. Yay! We're in. Okay, cool. So how do I take the new test? Cool. Wizarding. Yes. Let's do it. Cause it still says I'm Gryffindor on here, so <sighs> I don't have the patience of a Hufflepuff. <laughs> We're stuck at 104.
do I like? Now slip me snug about your ears. I've never yet been wrong. <laughs> I'll have a look inside your mind and tell where you belong. <laughs> oh, you may not think I'm pretty, but don't. Okay. How do I pick between them? No, wait. That was stressful. diamonds sounds like it would hurt going down oh my gosh it kind of moves the smooth thick richly purple drink maybe the golden liquid so bright that it hurts the eye um strange visions probably not i kind of want to drink the golden stuff all right which would i rather be envied it imitated Trusted, praised, liked, feared. Um, I hate people imitating me, so probably not that. I don't mind being trusted, but I feel like there's something better. Praised, liked. Honestly, if people feared me, the troll has gone berserk in the headmaster study at Hogwarts. It's about a smash crush and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the trolls club? The nearly perfect, perfected cure for dragon paw. Wait, what's the second one? Okay, well I'm trying. Oh, the nearly perfected cure for dragon Wait, I want to know what the other stuff is first. Um, well that's pretty important. Student records going back 1,000 years. Don't really care about that. A mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Um, yep. Nope, that's right. How do I say yes? Guarded by a river troll. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? This always has to be a black cat. Oh, okay, owls, oh, this way, okay. Okay, definitely a cat. Um, probably not a sight. Oh, it's the trolla! Oh my god, I feel bad for even looking at the other ones. No, I wouldn't choose that one. Aw, little ginger cat, tabby. It's definitely my baby boy, look at him. Um, black. I've been kind of getting more into white, but I still think black's normally my favorite between the two. Oh, it's ready to make its decision. Let's do it. Difficult, very difficult. <laughs> now that's interesting. It's, it's, it's red. Is it going to give me Gryffindor again? Hmm. Am I getting Slytherin? Hmm. Oh. Yes. I think I'm going to get Slytherin. You could be great in Slytherin. Knew it. <laughs> Friends, those cunning folk use any means to achieve their ends. <gasps> OMG, I am changing to Slytherin. Well, if you're sure. Oh, I'm sure. Better be Slytherin. <laughs> I'm so excited.
I'm so excited. I need like a screenshot of this. How do I do it? Oh, I see. Patronus was a stoat? No, I want to redo that. That is not my Patronus. Okay, cool. Well, it's definitely time for me to get to work now. But wow, I'm so glad we went through that journey. I swear they changed like a couple of the answers, but all the other ones I answered the exact same as I normally do. I guess those like extra ones that they added, those really changed up the game. But I'm so excited. You know, your self-proclaimed Slytherin is now officially a Slytherin, which is always fun. So happy to have done this with you guys. Thanks for joining me on this wonderful journey and I will see you when I get back from work. This is a weird lighting. Now I'm blue. My white balance is off. I don't know what to do about this. I turned it off and I turned it back on again and now I am not blue. So that's a relief. But I just wanted to check in for the end of the night of day four. After this, it's just going to be daily vlogs and they'll actually be kind of like timely, which is really exciting. I really didn't get to do much reading. I went into work early today, like you know, and I just actually was like watching YouTube videos and listening to music in my free time instead of listening to an audiobook. But as far as you goes, I'm still only an hour and 28 minutes into it. So I am about 13% in. 13 is my favorite number, so that works for me. So I, I like how I was just like brandishing this around, but I got a, well, I didn't get one. Adam bought me a boba tea. I love boba tea. This one's jasmine milk tea. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm using my brand new metal straw from Fay Crate, which is really exciting. It does work for boba, guys. I was a little nervous right there because when we walked out of the boba place, I didn't grab one of the straws because I was like, I have a straw at home and I know it's gonna work. And then I got home and it wasn't fitting through like the hole at the top. I'm like, <laughs> I made a mistake, but it works perfectly. So I'm really excited about that. I didn't clean it out well enough though because it still tastes a little metally when I'm drinking in my boba. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it's not that noticeable, so that's okay. Uh, right now, Adam and I are actually going to finish Kiki's delivery service. Last night we started it, but we got like not even halfway through before we both fell asleep. So we're gonna finish that right now. I'm probably not gonna do any more reading for the night. So hopefully tomorrow goes a little bit better. But yeah, I might get some footage of us watching Kiki. It was honestly just the perfect movie. I'm so happy I bought it, even though it's not like the version of Kiki that I grew up with i'm still really happy with it and it's just so happy and whimsical and sweet so yeah we're gonna finish that up tonight and then tomorrow we'll talk good night guys hat on screen <laughs> right next to him he's like who's that <laughs> he's become self-aware <laughs> Such a dork. <laughs> like, Hold on. You got this, Luna. <laughs> you got all I can do. You have almost got penguin friend. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Touching her. <laughs> she like pulling him up, but also trying to <laughs> attack the string at the same time. I think he's too heavy for her kitty muscles, yeah, so yeah. so she tries to do it. And that's how she's. That was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh no, no. <laughs>
Thank you guys. I'm done.